The following question states that why is the boiling point of ammonia NH3 higher than the boiling point of phosphine? Now I've uh, drawn both molecules over here and I've drawn the three dimensional space in NH3 and NP remember are in the same group so they have the same number of outer shell electrons. NH3 is forming three bonds with hydrogen and there's a, there's a lone pair on top so it's a it's a pyramidal trigonal pyramidal molecule and the same is true for, for PH3 as well. Phosphorus is bonded to three hydrogens and there's a lone pair on top uh, so it's a pyramidal molecule with all the three hydrogens pointing downwards and they're going to have an angle of 107 degrees between them. The same is true for NH3 as well. I will also open the periodic table and you can see the nitrogen and phosphorus are in the same group and nitrogen is above phosphorus. What that indicates is that nitrogen is more electronegative, has a higher tendency to, for, to gain electrons compared to phosphorus. So elements that are, on, um, that are higher up in the periodic table, they are more electronegative. So in this case, nitrogen is more electronegative compared to phosphorus. This electronegative D would result in the creation of dipoles. Uh, both in the case of PH3 and in the case of NH3. N being more electronegative, so it's going to attract electrons more strongly from hydrogen. So electrons would be closer to N and the negative charge that would build up on N would be stronger and the positive charge that would build up on hydrogen would be stronger as well. In the case of phosphorus, phosphorus has a lesser electronegativity compared to nitrogen. So the uh, electrons that are being uh, dragged towards phosphorus uh, phosphorus would not have as high a tendency to attract electrons so the negative charge that would build up on phosphorus would be smaller in strength and the positive charge that would build up on hydrogen would also be weaker in strength so both molecules are going to have dipoles ammonia is going to have stronger dipoles whereas um, PH3 would have weaker dipoles the attractive forces generated by NH3 because they are stronger uh, these attractive forces or intermolecular forces are called hydrogen bonds because the partial negative charge because of the lone pair is, is greater and the partial positive charge is also stronger compared to PH3. In PH3 you have simple permanent dipole interaction whereas in NH3 two molecules of NH3 are going to have uh, hydrogen bonds between them. Hydrogen bonds are simply stronger version of permanent dipole interaction so uh, PH3 also has uh, dipoles but NH3 has stronger dipoles and the conditions in which hydrogen bonds would exist were that the most electronegative elements N, O or F should be bonded directly to hydrogen which is true in this case uh, N is very electronegative so you have a greater dipole a stronger dipole is created and the lone pairs on N, O or F uh, should be available so in this case the lone pairs on N are available which increase the negative charge density or the partial negative charge on the nitrogen atom so the force of attraction between two ammonia molecules uh, would be the result of hydrogen bonds. Now coming back to the question, why is the boiling point of ammonia higher? The reason why ammonia has a higher boiling point compared to PH3 is because ammonia has significant hydrogen bonding. So ammonia molecules have significant hydrogen bonding whereas phosphine molecules, they only have permanent dipole interaction. So, so option B, this statement option B is going to be your correct option for this question.